Welcome to the National Weather Service Houston Galveston weather briefing for severe weather possibilities on Tuesday, November 17th. This graphic shows a storm prediction center outlook for severe weather on Tuesday and has all of southeast Texas in this yellow color for a slight risk. And what we are expecting is for a line of thunderstorms to move into the area during the morning hours on Tuesday. And with that, we can expect damaging winds. Uh, some winds could produce 60 mile an hour wind gusts that could bring down some trees and power lines. And we're also monitoring the possibility for some uh, tornadoes within these uh, lines of storms. So we ask you to have a good way to get watches and warning information starting Tuesday morning. And here's the timing of those lines of that line of storms. It's possible that from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. there could be some scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area. But then starting around 6, 7 a.m. through about 10 a.m., areas from Crockett to College Station to Columbus could expect these lines of storms. And then moving into the Houston area, uh, late morning hours, 9 a.m. through about noon. And then uh, down along the coast around 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. through the early afternoon hours. And... Uh, them pushing off the, the coast. Over these storms we can also get uh, some heavy rainfall across the area in addition to the threats of damaging winds and uh, tornadoes. And mainly north of Houston, uh, along from Conroe to Huntsville, northeast towards uh, Crockett and Lufkin, uh, you could get some higher rainfall amounts uh, in excess of about two inches and that's because we could see some storms that could produce one to two inches of rain in an hour as this line of storms move across and then any storms earlier in the morning could produce rainfall and uh, with the additional rainfall we, we may need to watch for the possibility of localized flash flooding. So the bottom line that what we can expect uh, for uh, Tuesday is that we could see some storms uh, possible ahead of the squall line during the morning hours. Uh, that squall line will push through southeast Texas uh, basically 6 a.m. through about 3 p.m. through Tuesday morning in the afternoon. Uh, again, the main impacts, uh, really, uh, these storms will be capable of producing uh, damaging winds and then possibility of a second threat of tornadoes, but that looks to be a smaller threat compared to the uh, wind threat. And then we can't rule out the possibility of heavy rainfall. So any of these stronger storms that produce one to two inches an hour and move over some of the same areas, uh, we'll have to keep an eye out for flash flooding. Thank you for listening to this briefing, and please, again, have a good way to get watch and warning information on any severe weather.